in today's video I'm going to show you the best stick move in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my channel before my channel is designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 21. Now today's video is going to be very simple. It's going to first show you a little bit of a trick to beat man to man. It's going to expand on a little bit of the, some of the things that I've been talking about but the other thing that it's going to do is it's going to give you what I believe to be the best best stick move to use with your running back with your wide receiver with your quarterback whoever it is that you're running the ball I got the controller came up so we're gonna jump into this in just a second but before we do guys I want to encourage you if you're looking to take your game to the next level in Madden 21 if you really want to be competitive and you really want to be serious about the game I want you to join my YouTube channel discord that is in the a link of that is in the description below but the discord is the best way to stay up to date with every single thing that I've got for you coming in Madden NFL 21 all right, let's get to the tip. So we're just going to use gun spread Y flex. I'm in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. You guys know by now that I probably, probably most of you know that I run the Arizona Cardinals playbook and I, I run it very well. In fact, if you want to get that ebook for my offense and my defense, um, it is in the description of this video as well. So you can pick that up. Again, one of the guys that picked it up said it's the best $25 he's ever spent on this video game because it's taught him how to dominate people like he's never been able to before. So anyway, shotgun spread flex to play this Y stick and the specific route is the running back route, but we're not gonna focus so much on the route as we're going to focus on the move. Now it's kind of like the double juke. Essentially there was a, and I can't even honestly remember what Madden it was. I think it was either Madden 17 or Madden 16. But the double juke, basically what you're going to do is you're going to juke to the to one side and then you're going on your with your right stick and then you're going to basically turbo and explode to the opposite side with your left stick. So if you watch a controller cam here, I'm going to get this pass in and then I'm going to go right, left, right, left. Now, again, you know, it may not be it may not be a whole lot here because it's a running back route. But again, you're going to get it out. And you go right, left. There you see, there I've roasted Stefan Gilmore. Right and then left. You don't juke to the left. That is not what you do. Right? Let me show you what happens if I do that. So if I just run that, um, you see one juke to the right. He's just going to hop right. Right? Madden is going a little bit more to a 2K style where a lot of your movements and player control is going to come from this stick. So you see there, if I try to double juke, it does do it a little bit, but not to the degree that it does whenever I am able to do it with that specific um, movement. See there, it's right on your right stick, and then left, you're, you're basically angling left at that, that's the cutback. So you're gonna cut to the right with your right stick, and then instantly cut back to the left with your left stick. And I'm telling you, I get a lot of really, really good uh, plays on this. Let me back the ball up a little bit. Let me give myself a little bit more room on that side and show you what I can really do when you isolate somebody on that side of the field. Again, this is a simple route. This is a very good route against man-to-man -man coverage um, that I'm showing you right now. But right there, and you see how Stephon Gilmore takes that false step and you're able to go. Now, this is good for not just the pass, right? If I wanted to uh, just go to a simple inside zone here or RPO, which you'll see here, same thing. I can do it in the backfield. What I like about Madden this year is you can do that at any different, you can do it at multiple points, right? So if I just run the inside zone, see how I can cut it all the way back? and then I can get it in the open field. It's literally my favorite move to do in the game. So uh, I hope this video helps you guys. It's a very, very simple tip. It does take a little bit of time to master the stick work on it, but right and then left. Basically, right hand or my right thumb is on the right stick, left thumb is on the left stick. And so that's kind of how I you know, know, you know, basically that's how you want to do it. Now, if you wanted to go the other way, right there, you go, you go the opposite direction. I personally think it's easier to go right to left than it is to go left to right, but you know, you can do that too right there and you see I'm able to get through and then I juke out another guy. So again, in my opinion, this is one of the best open field moves in the entire game and this really will help you because again, being able to have good stick work is critical to becoming a good Madden player. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's going to be some other videos that are going to pop up on the screen. They're going to help you beat man coverage and help you improve in Madden 21. But last but not least, guys, I do want to remind you, I stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And so if you want to see me, if you want to see me play Madden, or if you want to text in some questions, I answer all of my questions every night at 10 o'clock Eastern time live on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.